Hi, how y'all doing? I'm going to talk to you today about Justin Fairfax, the Lieutenant Governor of Virginia. I'm going to talk about his second accuser. Bottom line is that he's a cad, y'all. <laughs> he's a cad. <laughs> now, there's two schools of thought. Either he did it or he didn't do it. Let's talk about the fact. Let's just talk about one thing. Itching, y'all. <laughs> That he did not do it. Let's say he did not do it. Okay, so my impression just from reading the latest news about her is that she was a college whore. Now I've seen the I saw these when I was in college. I saw college whore, they go from man to man, college guy to college guy, regardless of the race I want to add. <laughs> um there's plenty of plenty of those. A lot of college horses. They don't look like college whores. You know, some of them are brazen whores. Uh, they look and act like a horse, but some of you wouldn't know they are, are like that. But they are. Okay. I you know, they go from man to man. Okay, some more addicted to pornography and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. I, I remember when I was in college, there was this uh, this guy who was like Asian and white or something, and a lot of the girls were just kind of crazy about him, and and he went with the whore. Um, so she says she was going with this athlete. Okay, so she goes after this athlete. She claims that he raped her, and of course he's denied it. Now, what I find interesting is that she did not call nine one one. Because by the, Oprah has been talking about date rape since 1986. So she should have known about the whole concept of date rape. And I just find it puzzling because let's say because she's at Duke, she's kind of intellectual. Okay, and she did not call 911. And that is puzzling to me. Uh, an athlete that she went after raped her and she did not call 911. Okay, I don't understand that at all. She claimed that she called the campus police. Now, campus police, you know, are useless. Campus police is just a bunch of students who need a job. I'm talking about the real police who've gone through training, etc. I'm talking about the bona fide police. She didn't even call the police. Didn't go to the hospital to check out anything. Nothing, no evidence, no nothing. Now, if she had, none of us would be having that co this conversation. Nobody would be having this conversation. Um, like I said, I remember a, a white girl in college. Um, she accused a black guy of raping her. And at first she said, I don't know who did it. She lied for about two weeks. I don't know who did it. Until she finally told the police that it was a black guy that she was dating. And... Now, she did call the police. She got the medical stuff done. And uh, eventually, he did get 15 years. Date rape. Okay? Date rape. I mean, the jury, he had a jury trial and everything. And he got 15 years. But this girl did not even report it. Okay? Now, you would think that, okay, she didn't report it. You think she'd take a semester off to collect herself, you know, just to get some therapy or just to collect herself? And, okay, so I, I just don't understand why she didn't report it, okay? So, she didn't even take a semester off to collect herself. I just don't understand that at all. Okay, so look, he didn't act like a gentleman. This athlete that she's saying... Uh, didn't act like a gentleman. He was probably a caveman, you know. Why should he act like a gentleman in front of a college whore, okay? So, because men don't know the difference to tell the truth. So, he did not act like a gentleman. He did not put on Teddy, Teddy Pendergrass. He did not put on Marvin Gaye. There was no perfume, no roses, no nothing. Caveman style, worse than a caveman. So, that's that. She did report it. So, now she sees, being a whore that she is, she sees Justin... Fairfax. He's handsome. He's uh, intellectually smart or he wouldn't be at Duke. Middle class. 
because he carries himself like a middle-class person. Okay? This is the year 2000. He doesn't give her any flowers. No elder bars. I mean, look, if you can't get it on with elder bars, you may as well go somewhere and crochet or knit. Okay? He gives her no, there was no elder bars, no Teddy Pendergrass, no Marvin Gaye. Caveman. Okay? So she claims that Justin Fairfax raped her. Okay, this is after, a year after this other athlete allegedly raped her. Again, she didn't report it. And I just don't, at this point, I don't understand her at all. You've been raped twice and you still don't report it? Now, like I said, forget the campus police. I'm talking about the real police. You know, Oprah, like I said, Oprah's been talking about date rape since 1986, since she came on the air. She came on the air in about 1986. She's been talking about date rape then. Okay. And she made the mistake of tell this is an allegation. She made the mistake of telling Justin Fairfax that she was raped the year before. And so she claimed Justin Fairfax said, well, because you didn't report the first rape, I knew you weren't going to report this one. I don't know if he said it, but, but that's what she alleged that he said. So Justin Timberlake, I'll just see there I go to Timberlake. <laughs> Justin Fairfax gives her no perfume, no roses. Nothing, no Teddy Pendergrass, no Elder Bar, y'all. <laughs> no Marvin Gaye, okay. No Marvin Gaye, just caveman style. She didn't expect that. She didn't expect the caveman, the first encounter. She didn't expect the caveman for the second encounter. She got issues, y'all. And these are two men that she she know, because you you can't get to know anybody in college in six in six months. You don't know them. So, I, I seriously don't understand why she did not call the police then. And nobody would be having this conversation. But again, what did she do? She stayed at Duke. She didn't even leave. You, you know, I would think that two rapes would, she didn't take a semester off or a whole year off for that matter. And maybe transfer to another school. Because you know what, what people say, there's just bad karma there at Duke. <laughs> bad karma, okay? So, you know, I have issues with her as why she didn't call the police the first time or the second time. If she had called the police the first time, we probably wouldn't even be having this conversation. Because if you don't report a rape within 24 hours, and definitely within 48 hours, you don't have a case. Within two days, you don't have a, you don't have a case because the evidence is gone. Okay? Now, the other school of thought is that he did do it. So what is her issue? What is his issue? Her issue is that Justin Fairfax did not use perfume. There were no roses, no music, no Marvin Gaye, no Elder Barge, no music. Caveman style. Okay. Uh, now, let me tell you about a rapist. Let's say that Justin Fairfax did do it. Let me tell you about a rapist. A rapist are not, rapists are not virgins. Rapists have done it before. If Justin Fairfax, in fact, did do it, then he's been raping for a long time. He'd been raping in high school. He'd been raping in middle school. He didn't just become a virgin and start raping her in the year 2000 when he got in college. He'd been raping. Rapists are experienced men. I mean, if it's, I'm looking at the case if it's a man. I'm not talking about women, nothing. If a man rapes a woman, that's an experienced rapist. He's been doing it for a long time, years. He just hasn't been reported. Now, if Justin Fairfax, in fact, did rape her, then he's been doing it for a long time. Most likely, he did it in high school. He did it to other college girls. He did it in middle school. He didn't just be a virgin and rape somebody in the year 2000 in college. That's impossible. Rapists are experienced men. They know how to drag you from one point to another. They know, you know, whether or not to drag your feet or drag your legs. They know how to do it. They know how to put their, your, their hands over your mouth. They know how to, where to put their hands on your neck. They know how to do it. They know what they're doing. Rapists are experienced men. Okay. Now, a rapist will rape until they get caught. A rapist will tell you that. He'll rape until, until he gets caught. Okay, now this, la this lady, Meredith Watson, whatever her name is, 
she seems to have issues. A boyfriend had to get a restraining order against her. Some type of restraining order um, to keep her away from him. Now, you know, you know what? Maybe she doesn't get it. That maybe she should be a nun, okay? Because she sends mixed signals to men. Why is it that every time a man sees it, they want to act like a caveman, okay? <laughs> She's sending mixed signals to men. She wants perfume and roses or something, and they want to be a caveman. She's, she's sitting, maybe she should just be a nun or a recycled virgin. Now, just a Fairfax problem, he's a total cad. He's a caveman, okay? He probably has issues relating to women. He's, he's just a total caveman. I mean, no flowers, no perfume, uh, not even a nice hotel room, y'all. There's no conversation. No granola bars, no elder barge, <laughs> no Marvin Gaye, no Teddy Pendergrass. Pendergrass. He's a total bore, 24-7 bore. That's his problem, okay? Now, as an aside, when I was in college, I heard a lot of things about fraternities, particularly the black fraternities. I've heard of heterosexual and homosexual rape by the fraternities. Now, you take like the Kappas, they kind of reasonably nice looking. Um, the Qs, you know, 50% of the Qs are ugly and sin, 50% are handsome. But they all got that slick hair, right? <laughs> looking like clowns. Okay, the Sigmas are the best steppers. I give them that. Now, the Alphas, they take any kind of trash in their organization. That's something I observed in college. They take any kind of trash. They scrape the bottom of the barrel. When I was in college, they took up someone named Taylor, born and raised in the swamp. Okay? Uh, in their organization. They never should have taken him in, his, in their organization. Because he was trash. He was a swamp negro. Born and raised in the swamp. Couldn't even talk properly. Couldn't even speak English properly. I mean, you like, do you speak English? No, okay. He, he speaks swamp, swamp nigga English, okay. Eastern Shore, Eastern Shore nigga English. Okay. But that was just an aside. But what's overall, I would throw the case out of court. Because there's no evidence. He said, she said. And I throw both cases out of court. I think this first accuser, by her being a, I think she's a college whore, but she has problems relating to men. She wants one thing and the men want another. The, the men already know she's a whore. She goes after the athletes. You're a whore if you go after the athletes. All the whores go after the athletes. Most of them anyway. Uh, I do not understand why she did not call the police then. We wouldn't be having this conversation. I just don't understand that because, like I said, by the year 2000, Oprah had already started talking about date rape. So I don't even understand that at all. Um, the second occasion, uh, just uh, like I said, you know, I think women send mixed signals to men because, look, the men perceive them as a whore because they've been flirting with, just like this second accuser. Uh, she's been flirting. She's flirted with Justin Fairfax. For days, by her own admission. And so he, he he perceived her as being a whore. So he said, okay, I'm going to treat you like a whore. He's going to be a total cad, y'all. He's just a cad. <laughs> There's going to be no perfume. There's going to be no roses. No Elder Barge. No Teddy Pendergrass. No Marvin Gaye. None of that. No nice music. He's going to be a total caveman, y'all. I think Justin Fairfax has issues. A caveman mentality. He's a total cad. He's a bore. He's a bore. He's a bore. Bye.